He's let's go to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Game in Peacock on Peacock at uh, Arena Corinthians. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles, a couple of teams that have had some overhauls, changing up uh, defenses. Uh, Greg, your thoughts? Yeah, I want to know, just because it was the last time we saw him with this Eagles team, like does Nick Sirianni have answers and does Kellen Moore have answers to the blitz? And you think about what Jeff Halfley did at Boston College, and, and DJ, you're the, you're the perfect person to tell me about it because, frankly, I don't know. I, I read it's a lot of man coverage. He's going to get creative. But you would think, DJ, that they're going to make Jalen Hurts and Sirianni and Kellen Moore show that they can answer the questions that they really couldn't at the end of last year where they just couldn't deal with pressure as a quarterback, as a system, as an offensive line. Yeah, I mean, look, Halfley's going to, that's what he's going to do. He's going to try and go nose to nose and challenge these guys on the perimeter. But I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know that they have the horses to, mm. to go after these wideouts for the Eagles. If they do, I think you'll see a little bit more of a vertical passing game from Kellen Moore than maybe we saw with him with the Chargers. Uh, if they're going to force him to do that, he's going to have to do that. And I think they can win those one on one matchups. Um, so I, to me, the if I'm looking at this game, I'm more fascinated to see what it looks like on the other side of it, mm. just to see can, you know, we talk about offensive line and pressures. I think this Eagles defensive line is going to be outstanding once again. And I think you're going to see these young DTs. Um, everything that I've heard and, and talking to folks out there is like, this is a next step year for those guys. And mm. that is, is a nightmare for an offense with the speed they have off the edges. Uh, if they get those two young DTs rolling, those Georgia Bulldogs going, um, that takes this defense to another level with Vic Fangio. Uh, a team that's gotten uh, to the quarterback pretty quickly uh, the past few years. Of course, a, a big-time departure. They go ahead and make the trade uh, with the Jets to kind of alleviate that on, on on both ends. The in comes the Jet, out goes the Jet, who we don't know yeah. is going to play for the Jets. Um, but <laughs> You've got the birds. So you're saying when he's a jet, he's not a jet through and through. Is <laughs> yes. that what you're saying? Yes. yes. Essentially all things not jets uh, in this no. particular exchange with the, the Eagles and the Jets. But the birds favored by two and a mm. half. Um, Jeff Halfley and Xavier McKinney come in. Big time additions. Halfley working a whole lot with the secondary. So I was able to be at Packers camp. Talk to Xavier McKinney. Like I'm a brag. It's, it's, well, yeah, thanks. You know, I, I occasionally leave <laughs> this glorious <laughs> building. Uh, and McKinney, like I made the, the, the Saban alligate, like the... The, the idea, like two coaches, both head coaches, mm. both like to work with the secondary. And X didn't push back on that at all. And so that, that, that makes me hot, but it's just tough. Uh, it's tough, as DJ said, to kind of think about all the the ability that the Eagles have on all. Right. They they are just so talented if you just stack up all their players. And and yet, like, there there are a lot of questions about this team on defense, especially DJ. Like, yeah. Devin White doesn't make this trip. Something little strange going on there. There's some reporting in Philadelphia, Jeff McLean of the Philadelphia Inquirer, that he wasn't necessarily going to start. He hadn't been listed with an injury before. So that's just a situation to watch. It's going to be N'Kobe Dean. It's going to be the former Saint Zach Bond. That's maybe uh, an area of the field that you would think Matt LaFleur with all those receivers that they can flood and the tight ends. I got Luke Musgrave as my backup, as my, my backup nice. tight end on my fantasy team. Just a backup. It's a guy on the bench. And then you have... Is Cooper DeGene going to get in the mix? Quinion Mitchell was in the slot, but can also play uh, on the outside. And just everything is is so different here. First week, like, I favor the Packers offense. I kind of fav favor the offenses on both sides of the ball and figure this is going to be a score fest. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I, I would say on the linebacker front, I feel uh, somewhat relieved because I was a N'Kobe Dean sponsor uh, yeah. <laughs> coming into the draft process who elicited the comparison. I believe I hit him with a little Jonathan Vilma as an mm. undersized, like nerve center player um, who has just got unbelievable instincts and is a communicator, a leader. Like I obviously wish he was a little bit bigger, maybe a little faster, but that's the type of player I thought he could be. And, and by all accounts, he had a great camp and, and the lights come on there. So I'm hopeful that that linebacker group would Greg, you're a little bit, Concerned about him. I, I'm, I'm. Oh yeah, that's that your that's your guy. How is uh, Bugaboo? That like yeah. the Eagles are great oh, at doing a lot of things, but they don't take linebackers early, right? But they also haven't figured out how to get productive play. And then when they had some productive play a couple of years ago with Kaiser White was solid. He had a tough moment in the in the Super Bowl. They had good linebacker play last year, and then they just let him go, and it was it was trouble. 